Why are you not happy? I know there might be multiple reasons why, but the important question is how can you change it? In this video, I'm going to walk you through three things you could do immediately to change your life and stop being happy. But just before we dive into it, if you're new here, hi, my name is Joey and this channel is all about self-development tips to change your mindset and changing your life. So if this sounds good to you, please consider subscribing and hit that notification bell. Number one, know your strengths. What is success in life? What do you think happiness is? If you would have enough money, would you really be successful and happy? In fact, there are many millionaires out there having financial freedom but feeling miserable. We need to define success in a different way. Do me a favor and write down three things you think are your strengths. Let me explain why three. Three is the magic number that has balance, not two but three. If you only focus on one of your strengths and you fail, you will easily feel depressed and knocked out of the game. It's always better to have a backup plan and when you can combine three strengths, those are the things that will make you unique and different. Coming back to what you could do to feel more happiness. We all know that we spend most of our hours in a day working. In this sense, it's critical to have a fulfilling job. Your job should be able to express the three strengths you just wrote down. Moreover, it should be representing the character, the identity you have within you. What you love doing, what you care of and passionate about what you're good at and can provide value to others. But having a job that you can show your three strengths isn't enough. What would happen if you did the same thing over and over again? Our brain will easily get bored. You need to change it up. You need to challenge new things. Where there's no growth, there's no happiness. And when you have this growth mindset, amazing things start to happen. Am I making sense? To say it again, if you focus on your strengths that associates with your identity of who you are and what you love doing, and you do this daily, adding new challenges and trying to improve, there's no reason why you can't be successful and happy. You may not necessarily be able to earn a huge amount of money, but you will be able to feel fulfillment, security, less stress and less anxiety. A state of mind of happiness. Focus on your strengths, not weaknesses. Think about it. Why are we all born different? It's to complement and help each other. It doesn't matter what job you have. Every job contributes and provides value to one another. That's why it makes more sense to pour 80% of your energy into your strengths. To make you, the only one you on this earth, become more unique and outstanding. I'm not saying don't work on your weaknesses at all, but put only roughly 20% of them because focusing on your weaknesses only leads to being mediocre. Again, complement your weaknesses by using others' help. Don't waste your effort in the wrong place. Hard work only pays off when it's put in the right place. Number two, talk to yourself. Do you know why playing video games, especially role playing games are so fun? It's because you know right from the beginning if you put in the effort, you can finish it. You never get depressed playing a role playing game, right? You clearly know what level you are now and roughly how long it will take to get to the next stage. We don't have this clarity in life, do we? Suppose you set a huge goal in life and have the same kind of confidence like playing a game. Would you still be depressed thinking of I don't have the talent? That's crazy, right? The important thing in life is to find where you are now and where you want to go. The only way to find out is to take the time to be alone and talk with yourself. To have the most important conversation with yourself. Where you want to go might be in real life to have more financial freedom or build a family or whatever. Analyze what you've tried, what went wrong, and what you can improve. To visualize the process that if you can do this, you can get to a certain level, then the next level, and the next level. Being able to identify where you are now and truly believing that you can achieve those goals no matter what. Well, if you don't agree to think life is like a game, then what you're missing might be self-confidence. But the dumbest advice to someone that doesn't have self-confidence is to say, be more confident. It's not that easy. Tell me how, right? Here's the simplest way. Train your body, get fit. It's really that simple but highly underestimated. If you start training your body and put in the effort, your body will change. There is no way it will not change. Simply, if you put in the effort, you will start getting the results. Your physical state will change. You will stop being more active because you will build up the muscles that keeps you energized and sustainable. Once you start feeling that change inside your body, believe me, your confidence level will rise. And this will obviously extend in different areas in your life. Everything in life isn't easy for sure, but igniting your confidence in your physical state is the easiest way to boost up your motivation. Number three, take ownership. Why do you think we feel powerless and not good enough? But why are there people out there who are handicapped but mentally strong? How can they be so tough? It's because they don't blame their circumstances. They don't blame others and take self-ownership. 
They are the main character of their life. They built a strong mindset that they don't care what the world says. They keep showing up day in and day out. Now, no matter what kind of struggle you might be facing right now, there is a meaning. You're learning the dark side of life, and that is what makes you become compassionate to make you grow as a greater human being. I really admire people who went through the pain and struggles. When you're in that moment, it's nothing but hell. There is no hope, and it's far from feeling happiness. So if you're fighting right now, let me tell you that I'm so proud of you. I believe in you that you can get out of the mud and see the sunlight. I promise you that the tunnel you're going through now will definitely be the light to someone else one day. Embrace the new challenges and struggles and build your own story. Find that gift only you have and share it to the world. Somebody out there who you don't know yet is surely waiting for your message. And once you find that this is true, there's no way you won't feel gratitude and happiness in your life. If you want to learn more about how to find your purpose in life, the next video to watch is in the upper right corner or in the link below. Question of the day: What was the biggest struggle you had to face in your life? If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.